I've had so many people tell me that I need to make this video, and you're right, it's about time. With Google dropping a new certificate for data analysts, it's just getting more and more confusing, so I decided to take on a challenge and answer the question, what certificate is the best, and there's no answer like both acceptable. We're gonna find out exactly what certificate is the best to get a job as a data analyst with no degree and no experience. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you'll waste months of progress if you take the wrong program, and recently I've seen so many people make this mistake, they're picking the wrong course. So let's clear up the confusion once and for all. As you already know, the Google Data Analytics Certificate is a program consisting of several courses. You receive a final certificate at the end, which never expires. This certificate with about 180 hours of course material is designed to prepare you for entry-level roles as a data analyst. Now we can discuss how well it actually does that. I think that it's getting harder and harder to say that the program makes you job ready. I don't really think that it does, but at least Google made it better in their new certificate. Because now there's a new player on the team. We have the Google Advanced State Analytics Certificate. People have been begging Google for years to create a new program and they finally did it. It may say advanced, but honestly I think beginners can take it as long as they keep a few things in mind. It comes with seven courses covering basic data analysis concepts, but also introduces some statistics and basic machine learning. I think that's very interesting because we see how the industry changes so fast and it's important to keep up and learn more advanced stuff to stay relevant. Now let's talk about the similarities before we get into the important differences. Both of these certificates are offered by Google and that means that upon completion you'll have a widely recognized and credible certificate to showcase on your resume or LinkedIn profile. Also, they're both designed to equip learners with essential data analysis skills. While they may approach the subject matter differently, the end goal is the same, to help you become a proficient data analyst. By completing either certificate, you'll gain valuable knowledge and hands-on experience that can be applied in various industries and roles. Through various activities, projects, and assignments, you'll have the opportunity to apply your knowledge to actual data sets and scenarios, and this is not only good for your understanding of the material, but also helps you build a portfolio of work that you can showcase to potential employers later. Both programs allow you to learn at your own pace and on your own schedule, and that makes it possible to study while having a full-time job or just being busy, which I think is truly awesome. Also, the learning style is practically the same. It includes readings, videos, quizzes, and projects that make up the majority of the courses, and the length is about the same as well, with about both certificates being roughly 180 hours to complete. That is, of course, the estimated time. It depends on how fast you move through the material. Both programs also give you access to an online community of other learners, and I haven't really used this myself a lot, but you could potentially network with other people there as well. And networking is a great skill to build as well in the data analysis space, so win-win. When you finish either certificate, you will get added to Google's network of 150 companies that might be interested in hiring you with your certificate. But keep in mind that the job platform has had some mixed reviews recently, and I know some people that really don't think it's helped them at all, unfortunately, and its effectiveness might depend on where you're located, so keep that in mind. Now let's get into the actual courses, because here's where the real differences start to appear. The advanced certificate is designed for those who already have a basic understanding of data analysis, while the original certificate is geared more towards beginners and doesn't require some prior knowledge. It's important to note that beginners can still take the advanced certificate. Much of the material seems to be really beginner-friendly, with the exception of the later courses, which could be kind of hard for complete beginners, but you should be just fine. And honestly, the advanced certificate remains beginner-like on many fronts. The primary difference in the course content between the two certificates is that the advanced certificate covers more topics such as machine learning and statistics. This makes it a great choice for people looking to expand their skill sets beyond the basics, and in contrast, the original certificate focuses more on fundamental concepts and techniques, providing a solid foundation for those new to the field. When it comes to the time spent on each certificate, the advanced certificate may take longer to complete due to some of the topics being more complex and harder to learn. Let's move on to the tools. The original certificate teaches you R, whereas the advanced one uses purely Python. That's definitely an upgrade. Python will be the better choice for almost everybody. It's easier to learn, way more versatile, highly in demand, and that's both in data science and in other fields, so in this area, the advanced cert is definitely better for your future. And you're gonna spend a lot of time programming because you'll go through multiple courses, including Python, instead of just one R course in the original data analytics certificate. One downside to the advanced certificate is that it doesn't really seem to teach any SQL at all. SQL is absolutely essential, and that's something you'll have to learn on the side if you want to get a job as a data analyst. I recommend Code Academy or we3schools.com. They got some great free SQL courses. At the end of both courses, you'll do a capstone project, and the capstone project allows learners to showcase the skills they require throughout the program. Welcome back. 
Let's talk about what to expect in the capstone project. And the main difference is that you'll have the option to make a personal project in the original certificate, whereas in the advanced one, you'll all be doing the same project. That kind of sucks because you won't have a unique project for your portfolio, but it doesn't mean that it's a waste of time. It can still be a great learning opportunity. So my final recommendation, the advanced data analytics certificate is indeed somewhat more advanced than the original, and I would still call it beginner friendly. Hello. As much of the material is accessible for those without prior experience. The advanced label mostly comes from the introduction of more complex topics later in the program and it is also a way for Google to like clearly separate the two certificates. My recommendation is to start with the advanced data analytics certificate since it especially includes so much Python. You can always pick up the SQL skills on the side and if you do want a much lower pace then you can just complete both of these certificates. If you're currently taking the original I would just keep going and if you really want to start with Python right now then switch but otherwise practice is the key to mastering any skills so the more you practice the better you will become. Getting one of these certificates will not take you all of the way to a job though. If you do want to land a data analyst job, check out this video right here. I'll see you in the next video.